I'm starting off the day by boost leaking my truck. Well, actually, I gotta, I gotta move this stuff. I asked you guys what that noise was when I was going through the field. Yeah, that balloon sound noise. Some of you said that it was a boost leak, so we're gonna test it. I didn't know how to check that, but uh, thanks to YouTube, figured it out. I'm realizing I need a tennis ball because I didn't I didn't make it. You know, one of those things that drops from the ceiling, so then as soon as it touches your windshield, you know, whoa, whoa, whoa. It, it doesn't matter anyways. I just need a measurement so that I can get the right part so that we can boost leak this thing. I need to take off this hose and see what this diameter is. One guy said it was an inch and a half, but it looks so much bigger than that. Yeah, mine's two and a quarter. I got this stuff. I don't know what this is, but if this is two and a quarter, we're in luck. Two and a quarter, two and a quarter. Two and three eighths. It appears that I'm going to tighten that tube back down Head down to the store, get the right part, and then we'll I'm happy to say we're gonna use the workbench for the first time and the workbench isn't even done yet. I'm glad I, I mocked this price up last night. Here are the items that I think I can make a boost tester out of. We just got a white PVC cap, a hose clamp, and then a tire valve stem. This is my final boost tester. I understand that they make and, and sell these things. I just came up with something because I didn't have time to order anything. Like I said, I'm not a diesel mechanic, but I, I can be creative, I guess. So what I saw online was was a guy bought this like boost gauge tester. His had a hose on the end. Mine doesn't have a hose on the end, as you can see. But I don't understand why you had to go out and buy a hose when there's a hose right here you can utilize. Looks like I gotta take off this cover as well. I should be able to take this hose right off and utilize this hose. I'm going to clean up this old hose before we use it. While I'm cleaning this hose, I just want to mention, if you like what I do here and you support what I do here, don't be afraid to go to machinemerch.com and get yourself like a new hat or a sweatshirt. And if you can't afford to do that, go ahead and just push the like button. I'd, I'd really appreciate it. So I got it about as clean as I'm going to get it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten my tester on. I hear the leak, now I have to get to it. I think I found the issue. Can you see that blue hose and you see the silver tube? Well, the blue hose is only about halfway on there. So if I loosen that up, push it higher up, then we'll do another leak test. I'd be really happy if this was our culprit because this is easy to get to. All tight, test number two. I'm glad I picked up that clamp that I showed you at the beginning of the video because this clamp wasn't doing it for my, my tester. So I had to remove this to use the other one. As you can see, I pressurized the system. I don't have any leaks anymore. I had a small leak here and you guys saw it was like halfway off down there. So now there's only two things left to do. One, put it back together and two,
so glad I fixed this. Definitely a lot more power. Thanks for tuning in to this 3D Machines production. If you haven't already, subscribe. Thanks for stopping by. Until next time, 3D Machines out.